Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, <laughs> today's the day. But this is exactly what I've been waiting for. What's going on, guys? And welcome back to Modern Warfare 3. If you get on Modern Warfare 3 right now, you will see we have a brand new game mode called Rustmint 24-7. And yeah, this game mode contains Rust and the return of Shipment. I believe this Shipment is in like a new version. I think it's the same Shipment we saw last year with Modern Warfare 2. I definitely am really excited to see how Shipment plays out with the brand new movement, the classic mini-map, all the brand new streaks and weapons. Before we get into it though, man, I want you guys to go down below and drop a like on the video if you have ever played Shipment and are you happy to see it back? So yeah, we're gonna uh, hop into a game and let's see how Shipment plays in Modern Warfare 3. And just as I expected, it is the same exact shipment from MW2. I'm not gonna lie, man. This feels trippy because I literally just feel like I'm playing MW2. But we have the classic minimap, the new movement. Uh, yeah. I kind of would have rathered something maybe different though. Like, I don't know, something new, a newer version of shipment. Yeah, it's the exact same version as last year. Me personally though, I knew shipment was gonna be coming back. It is just one of those things where it's in basically every single Call of Duty shipment and Nuketown. These are like the two maps that we always get basically like every single year. It's a great map for grinding camo. So if you guys are still grinding for Interstellar, um, this is probably gonna be the best way to do things now. I assume like the 15 penetration kills you need for like the sniper and a lot of double kills and just kills and headshots and literally anything will probably be insane now with shipment. So yeah, if you guys are grinding camos, definitely, definitely play shipment. Um, and rust, yeah, easily the best ways to grind camos now. I'm also using the uh, brand new attack eradicator and I still need to level it up. So I popped the double weapon XP. I need to get this thing interstellar and I'm still grinding for Borealis, but this gun has been like, no, this gun is actually so fire, bro. I'm loving it. It has, oh no, oh no. It has a really interesting like fire rate. So basically when you first start shooting the tacky eradicator, it will actually have a faster fire rate and then it slows down to be like a little bit more accurate, I guess. I'm so screwed here though. I'm dead. I'm so, guys, guys. Oh my God, bro. Shipment is, it's the same thing. It's, it's the same thing. I am happy that shipment is back though, man. Um, I think, you know, you kind of need that small map to just get an infinite amount of kills to level up guns to rank up to do camo challenges like you need stuff like this you definitely definitely do so oh gosh oh gosh i am stunned i am stunned are we good are we good oh my god oh my god wait there's someone behind me okay okay let's see if we can maybe turn up i don't know we'll kind of see what the vibes are but right now it's sweaty it's crazy um, the advance definitely, the, the advance definitely helps out for sure. <laughs> oh my God, I sneezed. You guys don't comment. Bless you. You're, you're fake. Like you're actually fake. Okay, we have the advance UAV. Um, we're gonna pop the advance. We're gonna get this kill. We're gonna get, I need to focus up, dude. This is actually insane. I'm, I'm really scared about that guy with the purple, the purple camo. I'm, this spawns! Bro, every time I get the advanced UAV, I freaking die. What is up with that? Why do I keep dying when I get the advanced? I don't I don't like this, man. I don't like this. Bro, shipment though with a classic minimap is actually kind of ridiculous. Like, oh, we're getting destroyed this game, bro. My teammates are so bad. Wait, my teammates are so bad, bro. There's people right here. Are we good? Are we good? This guy's right here. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, I don't know what's going on. I have another advanced UAV. I should have dropped a nuke already. Thank you. Thank you. Are we good? Nope, he threw an aid. Okay, come on. Come on, I'm on a 15. I'm on a 15. I'm on a 15. No, no. I'm dead. I'm literally so, I'm dead. I'm. They keep throwing nades, bro. I need a counter UAV like right now. We have the advance up, so we're good. I'll save the UAV in my back pocket. Slide cancel. Oh my god, bro. They literally spawn and throw Semtex. Bro, that guy literally knew I was there. I'm, I'm out of here, bro. Oh my gosh. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous, bro. Are we good? Are we good? 
Bro, they just literally keep throwing nades. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh, I need ammo. I need ammo as well. If we can maybe drop right here, that would be insane. I'd be so happy. There's mad people. All right, we need this UAV. They just took A. Let's just reload real quick because I think they're going to be probably to my right. The thing is, I don't have a suppressor. Oh, that's a guy on the ground. Are we good? They might spawn here. Okay, I'm on a 25. We're, we're losing C. Oh my god, they're taking B. They're all over B right now. Holy crap, guys. I don't know what to do. I'm really scared for that dude over there. I'm gonna literally just play this angle, I think. Wait. They could be, I think they're to my right. They're, they're right on A. They are right on A. They are literally right on A. Let's go! Oh my god, first game! First game! Let's go, baby! That is actually insane! So yeah, this is Shipman. If you guys were curious how it was gonna be in MW3, um, yeah, it, it's the same exact thing. It's the same map, new movement, obviously. Same sweaty, chaotic gameplay. Um, but this is definitely gonna be the best map for grinding camos, getting a bunch of kills, doing challenges, ranking up the guns, like anything you guys need. This will probably be the wave. This will probably be the wave. Oh my gosh, bro. I can't believe it. Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh, I'm dead. We're gonna call this in, but we're, we're, we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait, because I need to farm kills right now. We're gonna pop this advance right here. I need to farm kills to level up this gun. I think this gun is like 20 something levels. Thank you. Oh, I'm screwed. Oh my gosh, bro. The tacky eradicator is insane. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god. We gotta reload. We gotta call this in pretty damn soon. I need ammo. Let's get this real quick. See what the vibes are. This guy to my right. Oh my gosh. I'm on, I'm on, I'm literally on another street. This guy is, oh my God. Jumping around corners. Oh. Oh my God, it's back, it's back. All right, we have another advance. We can pop, pop that real quick. Wait, I'm on another. Wait, was I on another crazy streak? I think I was on like a 20. Bro. This is it. Oh my gosh. Uh, what is going on? I just spawned, please. I'm dead. I'm, I'm dead. I'm literally... I I'm just spraying, bro. I'm having the time of my life right now. <laughs> See what the vibes are. I'm dead. Bro. Yeah, I definitely have over 100 kills, I think, for sure. That's crazy. Like. Oh, my God. We got to call this in soon, guys. I know. But I just want to farm. I just want to farm these kills, bro. Come on. Oh, this is, this is, this is, this helps out so much with leveling up guns. Like I need to still unlock the camos for the tacky eradicator. So like, oh my God, this is it. Oh, uh, we can probably get a few more kills. We can probably get a few more kills. Come on. Come on. All right, all right, I, I think I should call. All right, go, go first MGB on shipment. And ladies and gentlemen, that is shipment, man. Oh my God. This is so fun. This is what we needed. I love it. 134 
kills. And also, guys, I know a lot of people have been asking questions about the matchmaking system and trying to get more info out of Call of Duty and Sledgehammer. Well, today, they actually put out a statement and they said, we know there is a lot of interest in the matchmaking experience, especially around how skill contributes to how lobbies and matches are put together. Nothing is more important to us than the experience players have with the game and matchmaking is a big part of that. We've been working on our matchmaking system for well over 10 years and we continue to spend a ton of time and energy on the matchmaking process. This involves people working at our Call of Duty studios, our backend service teams at Demonware and other groups like our player insight team. It's a large effort that we've worked on for many years and our approach combines latency, search time and skill along with many other factors to try and find the best match experience for you. Talking about this topic in detail can be hard and we haven't spent the time to pull together all of our work to share with you on our insights and improvements over the many years. We're looking forward to doing that in the coming weeks after season one launches and we'll also make it a part of our ongoing discussions with the community, the Call of Duty team. I find this extremely interesting and they said that in the coming weeks we're going to be finding more information. They're going to be trying to be more transparent on how the matchmaking system works for Call of Duty. Ledgehammer also said that very soon they're going to be testing a way to keep lobbies together and not make a new lobby after every single game that you play. So essentially, if you go into a match and you play with a lobby, you can stay with that lobby for multiple games instead of throwing you into a brand new one. We all know that Call of Duty is very secretive with the matchmaking process. They rarely ever talk about it. They keep it very under wraps. So it's pretty interesting to know that they are talking about it and want to be more transparent with it moving on. Either way, guys, that is Shipman in Modern Warfare 3. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.